Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the countdown timer. Now, the countdown timer is a very basic visual in that it continually counts down to a specific date. That is its only purpose. It does nothing else but count down to a specific date. So you provide to it not even data bound, but just within inside of the format section, the date that you want it to count down to. You can change some format settings the way it appears. But beyond that, that is the sole purpose of the countdown timer. So you can see here on the right hand side, the purpose of it was to count down to the Data Insight Summit, which was Microsoft's conference that focused around data analytics and Power BI. So this one's very simple. We won't spend a ton of time on it, but I do want to fo focus you in on what's possible with it and how you might use it, even if you're not having a Data Insight Summit. So again, this one is developed by Microsoft. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you can go find the countdown timer and how you can use it. All right, again, so this is a very basic visual. In fact, we don't even need to pull in any data set for this. Now, you certainly can, but there's no data bound capabilities within this visual, so no need to necessarily download and bring in some data. So what we do need to do, though, is we're going to go up to the marketplace. We're going to go up to the custom visual marketplace here. And once we launch this, we can see all the custom visuals that are available to us. We'll select and search for the countdown timer. We can search for countdown here. It's actually a space in between count and down. So let's try that again. There we go. And you'll find the countdown timer, and you can go ahead and add that visual to your visualization pane right here. And we can kind of set ourselves up as a scenario of, hey, we're a retail company. We are, our big prime time event is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. We are very keyed in and focused on that date. And so we want to make sure that we have within our report some kind of indicator, some kind of reminder that we're, you know, X number of days to Black Friday. We're X number of months to Black Friday so that we can be preparing in our head for the things we need to be thinking about. And so if that's the case, what we can do is we can add in the countdown timer here. And you can see it's a very basic visual. You'll notice that there are no fields available with inside of it. It simply goes straight to the format section. And what we can do is we can tell it that we want to, underneath the countdown properties, start our timer on the 23rd of November 2018. And then that will give us a countdown timer all the way till the Black Friday of this year. And you can change the time, the hour. Maybe your store opens at 8 a.m. You might want to flip the time a little bit. I'm going to leave it as uh, midnight here. But now we have a nice timer that we can use. And of course, you can format this some if you wanted to. So say, for example, you want to add a nice title to it so it's very clear what you're counting down till. You can go down to the title section over here on the right-hand side. And I can say that this is our days until Black Friday timer. Okay, so we now have a nice little header here, and we can uh, adjust the font on this. We can bump up the font size a little bit so we can see it a little better. We can change the background color of that. Maybe we want to see it in maybe more of a nice, uh, let's go with a nice purple here, maybe uh, red. Let's do red. That's a little easier to read. There we go. And then we can change the font color to maybe more of a white, so it's a lot easier to read that as well. We can center it. We can change the font size. These are all things that you have available to you within inside of the Power BI visual interface. So we've kind of created a nice little timer here. We can move it wherever we want. Then we can also change the text properties of the countdown timer as well. So underneath the text property section here, we can tell it that we want to change the timer color, the text color that's used. We can change it. Let's say, for example, we want to change the color of the timer itself to be the same color as our header. We can change the size of this. So maybe we want to make the text size up to maybe 26 point font. And then maybe we want the, uh, the time size to be 26 point font and the text size to be 12 point font. So we can kind of shift it around a little bit if we wanted to really play around with it to get it exactly how you want it to be. Now that I went a little out of control there. Let's do 15 point font. We can also do this. We can come down to the general section here excuse me, the actual background section is what I meant to say. We can turn on a background, and maybe we want to have kind of an off-gray color here so we can set our timer aside or set it, aside, set it so that we can actually see and focus in on it a little bit more and maybe highlight the area so it's very clear that this is a special thing on our dashboard. So we can have it in the very top center. We can have it in the top right. Wherever you want it to be, of course, it's very simple to lay out. But now you've kind of seen how simple it is to do, and you can see we have, in my case, 358 days until. Black Friday. That's really it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple custom visual, the countdown timer. We look forward to showing you our next custom visual and our next module. Thank you so much. 